Good morning, Keenan and Alicia. Yeah, we're just down the road from Utica High School, where that school, in addition to all the schools in the district this morning and for the time being, are going to have extra police presence as a precaution in wake of this tragedy. And many parents from Utica to Oxford to elsewhere in Metro Detroit are waking up this morning, many with a familiar pain, asking themselves how do they approach this conversation with their kids. Utica School encouraging parents to have that conversation. And elsewhere in our area, that tragedy in Texas hitting even closer to home. A moment of silence during the Oxford School Board meeting Tuesday for the families in Uvalde, Texas. It's a familiar pain for that community, approaching the six month anniversary of the deadly shooting rampage in Oxford High School, putting the Michigan Township on a heart wrenching list. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Santa Fe High School in Texas. Oxford High School in Michigan. Chief of Behavioral Health at Beaumont Health, Dr. Jaron Jones, says after tragedies like this, kids will have feelings and questions. It's important that as parents, you help them navigate that. One of the ways to do that is to ask open-ended questions like, how are you feeling about what you've heard and tell me tell me about what you've heard. Utica schools offered these tips for parents from the National Association of School Psychologists, suggesting like Dr. Jones does to tailor your approach based on your child's age. For young children, we're going to want to um, make sure that the information we give is it's brief and it's simple. When we get to middle or high schoolers, then a more detailed discussion uh, is going to be more appropriate. It's important to maintain your child's normal routine, watch for any major changes in their emotions or behavior, and to limit their exposure to coverage of the tragedy. In a statement to parents, Oxford superintendent also suggesting, quote, allow yourself as the parent or guardian to be aware of your own emotions that may come flooding back. He goes on to say that students, quote, will need your patience, kindness, and presence. They are trying to make sense of the senseless and do not need you to know the answers, but to be there with them and for them in their pain and confusion. And part of that, according to Dr. Jones, is being honest with your students at home that you too might be feeling emotions, sadness, even anger at the events of what happened in Texas. We'll post those age appropriate tips for you on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting live this morning in Utica, Jen Schatz, 7 Action News. And you know, we had to go through this locally uh, back in November in Oxford, and it doesn't become any easier. And there's still no answers when you're looking at a child trying to tell them that they have to go to school and that they should feel safe. The chances of something happening are low, but my goodness, here we are again. Jen Schatz, live for us this morning. Yeah. And Utica, thank you, Jen.